I don't think I've ever asked it in this way. And you're a very humble guy publicly. Uh, you're, 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 your statistics are unbelievable in terms of what you do as a player and as a general manager. I'll say that. But can you honestly say, despite the humility, that the Lakers' five championships in the 80s is a greater feat than the Celtics' eight championships in the 60s? Well, yeah, I, that's hard to say because everything changes so much over the, the course of time. Uh, those Boston Celtic teams were incredible teams, and I was on the recipient of numerous of those beatings mm -hmm. that were administered. Uh, but the sport has changed so much, and it's grown so much, and I think it's particularly grown in the... Um, in the perception it has with the public. The public now has accepted this sport. When I played Roy, sometimes we'd go out and we'd have three or 4,000 people watch us play. That doesn't happen in the NBA anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is an exciting, viable sport that has so much more written about it. And I think when you have history and nostalgia involved, people are gonna say it has to be uh, more difficult today than it was then. I don't know that. I, I couldn't say. Yeah. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.